Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video we will be comparing Motion versus ClickUp to help you decide which is the best project manager for you. Now to start with the pricing, if you would like to sign up for either of these tools, I will leave links in the description. But we can essentially see right here is that ClickUp actually allows you to get a free plan. So this is a free forever plan. It is not a timed free trial. You can just sign up to ClickUp and you can get access to all of these features and you'd never have to pay unless you want to upgrade. With Motion, there is no free plan. This is a seven day free trial that you can get for signing up. Now, when it comes to the actual pricing, once again, Motion is going to be more expensive. It is not something that is going to break the bank, but if we see right here, the standard plan on Motion is going to be $12 per month, whereas on ClickUp, this is going to be $7. Then we have the business plan right here, which is $12 on ClickUp and the individual plan on Motion is $19. So ClickUp definitely take a point here in terms of the pricing, but this isn't huge. Like Motion is still a relatively cheap tool. For the most important part, let's now jump right into both of these tools and I'm going to show you the main differences. Now to give you a quick overview into the main difference between these tools, both of these have baseline project management features, right? However, the big plus to Motion is the fact that everything that you enter in is essentially going to use AI to take your tasks and then plan this out into a calendar in the most effective day possible. So you are wasting no time. Whereas ClickUp does not have this feature, but the main pro point to ClickUp is it has a few other tools that Motion doesn't have. I'm talking about things like the Clips function right here, which is a built-in screen recorder where you can record your audio and your screen. So you can give like SOPs to your team. You can show clients the inside of their Facebook ads as an example. We can also track time right here. So we can go to timesheets, add a task, click on start, and then it's going to track how long we worked on each task. We also have Docs, which is, this is not the most groundbreaking tool in the world because like Google Docs is free, but we could open this up and we can create documents inside of ClickUp. Now, when it comes to the actual project management side of this, I will show you this in both tools and I will show you how Motion uses this to plan out your calendar. So we can go to my tasks right here and open up a task. And let's say that I am going to use both of these tools to plan out some YouTube content. So the first task that I might make is motion versus ClickUp video, right? So I enter in the task name. I can also add a description down here, but the main point and the main power of this is going to come on this right hand side. So I can set who this task is assigned to. I can set the current status of this, whether this is to do in progress completed. I can set the priority of this task. And this is very important, right? Because when Motion uses AI to plan out your day on the calendar, of course, it's going to plan the highest priority tasks first. So let's set this to a high priority task. We can choose how long we want to spend on this or how long this is going to take. So we can set this to, to be determined if we're not sure. But let's say that the recording of this, let's say record, is going to be 30 minutes. We can then choose if this is chunked, like if, if we want to split this task up into different chunks of the day, or whether we want to do this all at once. We can then choose the start date for this project, and then we can choose the deadline as well. So I'm going to set this to tomorrow, and then we can choose if this is a hard deadline. The last thing that we can do is just go down and we can set our work schedule right here, but I'm just going to use this pre-built one and then save the task. So now that task is created, it's going to be added to this section right here where I can see my tasks. And now if I go to the calendar, look at this, it's telling me I need to do this immediately. So that's going to be planned in right there. So let's go in and we can create another task. The thing that it's going to do right here is it's going to just batch these all back to back, right? Because I don't have a lot of tasks on here. When I do have a lot of tasks, what it's really going to do is it's going to take the deadline and the priority and kind of match up to which is the highest priority, which one has the closest deadline. And then it's going to line these all up in the calendar right here. So this is how motion works. With ClickUp, we can come in here and once again, it's very similar to the user interface where we just start typing things out and then we can set them right here. So once again, I'm going to go for motion versus ClickUp video and we can say this is record just like that. We can then go over here and set an assignee to this. We can set the due date right here. Let's set this to Friday. 
we can set the priority of this task and then we can go over and add some more information to this. So there are definitely more fields that we can add inside of ClickUp than we can with Motion. With Motion, these are all of the options that we have. Whereas with ClickUp, we have a lot more, right? We can add phone numbers, we can add relationships, we can add signatures, we can add files if we want to drop files in. But I'm just going to go here and I'm going to say start date. So we now have the start date and the due date. So I can go in and then we can drag this to before the due date. And I'm just going to set the start date to today. So with ClickUp, this is not going to use AI and schedule things around in the most effective way. Instead, if I go over to the calendar view, all this is going to do is this is just going to show me the task from the start date to the end date. ClickUp also has a lot more views. So we can see we have list, board, and we have calendar. But then we can click on view and look at this. We have like whiteboard, we have mind map, we have team. We have some embeds down here. Whereas on Motion, we only have Kanban, Gantt, and List. So when it comes to choosing between Motion and ClickUp, it really depends on what you are looking for in a project manager. If you prefer for AI to schedule your productivity to make sure your day is the most productive possible, then Motion is a fantastic option. And I really don't know any tools out there that have this functionality. Whereas with ClickUp, you do not get the AI customizability, but you might find some extra tools that you find helpful that you don't get with Motion. Either way, that is my comparison on Motion versus ClickUp. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.